providing the facility to do this. Um, my name is Beth, I'm from C101. So the other three media sponsors are Z101, Sun Media, giving us this wonderful Well and Tribute main stage, and Old Dutch Chips, which I see many of you enjoy. Okay? Um, right now I want to take uh, a few minutes to e introduce each one of the celebrity judges that are here. Um, yesterday we had a very interesting day, to say the least. We had 39 acts up here, everything from, jeez, uh, what was that called? Rip skating? Rip skating to improv to musicians to solo artists to duets. It was a beautiful day, and quite frankly, we were shocked by the talent that came forward. Okay, so today we have even higher expectations and want to keep this ball rolling. 43 uh, contestants yesterday. Wait a minute, sorry, 39 yesterday. I have 43 here today, and out of the 39 yesterday, we picked five that automatically advanced. Their talent was uh, indisputable, and they are going on to August 20th's final round. I want to just uh, go through a run through so you know. All right, we have one young lady that literally, uh, Sean Tika Pika, blew the roof off of Seaway Mall yesterday. Um, her voice was incredible, all right? So she was a tough act. Then we had Laura Hedge, a young girl singing a country song up here that just kind of stole everybody's heart. Uh, we had Lindsay Bagel, and then a band known as Mrs. Johnston that advanced, a lady in a very hot dress walking around the mall. That was quite fun, okay? And we had Caitlin Lander. So that was our first five to move forward, and from there we had a wild card. The lady who was nervous, basically chickened out right before her performance. The Seaway Mall staff encouraged her to push through and get up here on stage. Well, we had to put her in as the wild card. She got up here, was the most relaxed on stage, and nailed her performance, okay? That lady is Daria Lamont. And then from there, we picked an extra wild card, and not because we really needed it. It was because we had a group come here, quite frankly, we didn't know what to make of them. And they took over you guys. Um, that was Class Act Improv. So it was a group of six people that came up here and just did improv for us all, and they uh, blew the, I guess, the lid off the place with just the applause, okay? So we have seven great people moving on to the finals. Today we're here to pick another six and move on. Okay, as far as our judges over here, I'm going to start with Joel, okay? Joel was our flair boy, so he is my peacock at the table. Joel Van Fleet has uh, recently released his own album called Autumn, Winter, Spring, and Summer, okay? This album is available on iTunes and joelmusic.com. So if you guys want to grab a copy, there's how you can get it. Earlier this year, he was on the finals of the reality show called On The Spot, which was produced in Los, Los Angeles. Okay, without further ado, everybody, let's give it up to Joel Van Fleet. Our second judge, the lady in the house, is a real celebrity. Uh, this is Jennifer Blakely, okay? She is actually a photographer, which was enrolled at Graceland University, University in Iowa, grooming her skills and creative eye in a traditional wet dark room. In 2007, Jennifer started her own photography company known as Alphabet Photography. Pop photography. Fantastic shots, you can go online for her as well. Um, and she's now running a million dollar operation. Last year she produced the Christmas food court flash mob here at CMA Mall. And for any of you that heard about it, because it was a little hard not to, she had 33 million hits. So this is a lady that is here to look for creativity, and she's the one with the eye for it, okay? So we're much thanks to Jennifer. Judge is new to the table and he's got some mystery and mystique I think he's bringing to it. Dan Plunkett. He's the owner of The Blue Music, a small music management business based in Niagara. The Pew Music Mod provides services for magicians for providing networking opportunities, bookings, and management. Okay? He books acts, you guys, in Toronto, Niagara, and Aurelia, and occasionally he'll even book himself. And if the acts want to come along, he's more than happy to go. Okay. Since 1991, he's been a member of Niagara's Men's Chorus and has been involved with writing scripts for the show, playing the 
guitar and harmonica and in concerts and in their three albums, okay? Everybody, big round of applause for Dan.